mentally unsound woman sentenced to death for blasphemy. On Monday, September 27th, a session court in Lahore, Pakistan, found school principal Salma Tanvir guilty of blasphemy charges and sentenced her to death. Tanvir was charged with blasphemy in 2013 for disrupt distributing pamphlets describing herself as the last prophet of Allah. Court records showed that a prayer leader from Bahadurabad, a neighboring city of Lahore, complained against Tanvir. Previously, the Punjab Institute of Mental Health diagnosed Tanvir with schizoaffective disorder. Tanvir's lawyer argued that his client is a mentally uh, is an unsound minded person, which led to the suspension of her trial in 2015. In 2019, the Punjab Institute of Mental Health released an update diagnosis stating that Tanvir is now fit to stand trial. The verdict stated that she shall be hanged by her neck by her neck until death. Why do they do that? Why is this the most brutal way? Like one of the most brutal ways of killing people. Like this guy, like, why do you hang them until they, guys? This is what when they hang people like this, this is not like what you see in the wild, wild west on TV. That is actually a more humane way of killing people. The way they're describing to kill people is by 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 making them suffocate slowly while being hanged. It's not one of those ones that they, they open a trap door behind from under their feet and they drop and their necks break. That is like that is a deaf that, that type of hanging, like when you see on Western movies. That is a that is a quick death, okay. The way they do it in Islamic countries, is they just lift you from your neck with a rope, and then you just like until you like it takes. Sometimes it takes a long time before you die. Go on. You want to say is 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 that actually how they hang people in Pakistan? Because I know like what? you shall be hanged until your death is actually what they would say in the United States oh. when doing a hanging and but doing the drop. Like it's a technicality oh, really? because people it have been sounded like hanged, but method. didn't die. So they needed to update the legal framing to say ah, that. Okay. Okay. Because I know in Iran, they hang you without dropping you. And then you just like, just like shaking like a fish out of water until you die for after a while. Like I know they ha that's how they do it in Iran. So, and the wording that you said here made suggested to me, it seemed like they're going to do it the Iranian way. So, but maybe but maybe not so thank you for clarifying that but if they are doing it the iranian way this is even guys like this is not islamic way of killing people right and it, it, the islamic way is like beheading by a sword and that's actually more humane than hanging people by the neck until they die because that is faster that is like less there's less torture involved in that one i so, would choose I don't that know, yeah like what is, i mean it looks more brutal because there's like your head is being detached and there's blood everywhere even though it looks more brutal it's actually more humane than hanging somebody until they suffocate um so i don't know where where do these islamic countries are getting this hanging till death part like there's no hadith so there's nothing in islam that says this is how you kill people i would this speculate that they understand that just going full beheading would give a really bad look that they're trying oh, not wow. to go with. Imagine like, torturing maybe, people. Maybe this is total speculation, but there may be like, you know, the full beheading that is just it. Get, it does seem too barbaric, so we can't do that. So we'll go with the mm -hmm. hanging because that's more modern. So we, helpful. you're go with people are going with know. something. That, so people are going with something that is actually more barbaric, to not go with something that aesthetically looks more barbaric. I don't know maybe yeah amazing amazing but doesn't that kind yeah, of make sense yeah i guess you're right i guess it's about like it's about how it looks like like just like beheading it just looks like it's so so dark age and barbaric and ancient yeah and like oh we're modern people we hang people like what we do in the yeah okay um so for those who are not familiar with um the persecution of alleged blasphemers in pakistan um pakistan is notorious for putting a lot of people on death row for oh, blasphemy yeah. um what's interesting though is that thus far pakistan has never actually executed someone for blasphemy so the sentence has never been carried out um oftentimes 
people will be stuck on death row for years while other things are going on in the legal process or there are international efforts to, you know, get these people um, cleared of their charges behind the scenes and maybe they escape out in the dead of night, you know. Um, and ironically, they're often safer on death row in police custody than they would be out just in the public where the potential of just being lynched in a crowd is more likely or way more likely than it ever should be. Um, what's interesting though, so I was reading an article about this and it says, what happens next? Um, so however, the death sentence in the case cannot be executed before the Lahore high court confirms it. The verdict said the court has informed Tanvir that she can file an appeal. <laughs> Excuse me. Blessing. against the verdict before the high court within seven days. So theoretically she can appeal. Um, I'm not holding my breath that the sentence will be appealed, but what often happens is that higher courts either overturn or commute the sentence that was given by the lower courts. So it's not likely that she will be executed in this case, but it's obviously so distressing to think that a woman who has a confirmed history of serious personality disorders like schizoaffective disorder like is still receiving the sentence maybe it's a mercy sentence because they want to keep her in jail because they know if they let her go she will be like killed or something what if what if there's some some people's motivation between behind this is actually because they're concerned about her freedom Maybe we're like we yes like let's 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 actually have an optimistic hypothetical about humanity. Maybe like people are like we know you don't deserve a death sentence. Uh, we know that this person is like you're mentally ill and they can't be held accountable for anything like the things that they're doing. I mean, and, and also maybe blasphemy shouldn't even be punishable, but death anyways. But we're gonna keep insisting that to accuse you of blasphemy because firstly because we know blasphemy um people don't get actually executed in pakistan for blasphemy and second of all we need to insist that you are guilty to keep you in jail because you're not going to be safe out there what if that's what if there's actually some humane reasons to keep this blasphemy accusation on her <laughs> <laughs> i like how you just like constructed this world like just to cope with how bad it actually is <laughs> What it like? It could be like you're like we can't. No, we can't I don't want you, you to give people let... the wrong picture. That's not what's going on here. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> do you say when an atheist sees this, say nice sneeze rather than bless you? We do this in my mm -hmm. house. Oh, that's how you. <laughs> when an atheist I'm actually sees... gonna. I'm actually, I actually want to say God bless you. I want to go for the full on God bless you because I think a lot of atheists are too picky about the word choices of atheists and they kind of become mm. a little bit religious about it. Mm. But I'm actually thinking next time somebody sneezes, gonna I'm going to be like, I'm going to double down and not, not just say bless you. I'm going to say God bless you. <laughs> it's like when people on the Persian channel got upset, you were saying salam. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they so hate it funny. when I say because uh, yeah, and the Persian. So we're done with this news. Can we? I'm yeah. gonna say this. Okay. Um, yeah, on the Persian channel, a lot of atheists in Iran, they hate saying salam as a as a way to say hi to each other, so they use the ancient Persian word drood. Um, and every time I say salam to everybody when I start the Persian show, there's some people in the live chat like, oh, Armin, why are you saying salam? That's Arabic. That's not Persian. You have to say Durud instead of Salam. And I'm like, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. <laughs> so I say the full Arabic <laughs> Islamic version of it just to piss them off. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you say bless you? Did you did you bless my sneeze when I sneezed or did you say nothing? I said bless you. That's okay, why the live chat is pissed off. I'm just checking that you had good manners. No, I'm, I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to say it next time. <laughs>
<gülüyor> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, God bless you, Susanna. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.